Hi, my name is Sophie Wade, and today I'm going to be talking about my exhibit, Self-Portrait to Still Life. I'm pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Art Studio, and I also have a business minor. A little bit about me, I've been creative my whole life. I loved doing art as a little girl, and I started taking it more seriously going into high school. And then in college, I wanted to major in studio art. I primarily work in oil paint, but because of my uh, education here, I've also worked in many different mediums like drawing, ceramics, printmaking, all that. My experience as an art student has been incredibly positive. When I started my degree here at SAUE, I was actually a business major, and I quickly found out that that just was not the correct path for me. And because I was minoring in art at the time, I realized um, just how much joy I was getting out of my minor classes. So around my junior year, I switched uh, my major to art studio, and I definitely just blossomed as a person. I learned so much more with my art degree, and I have truly become like the fullest version of myself with um, this path, my education. So I think that being a female artist is a really interesting experience because a lot of what we're taught in art history is very male-dominated. Um, most recognizable, like name-recognizable artists like Picasso and Van Gogh are men. Um, but in most of my art classes, they're predominantly female. Most of my peers are female, and I think it's a very different experience than it was decades ago, um, which I think is really special because I've developed a lot of really great relationships with my peers, and I think that there's a lot um, of development because being a female artist is so empowering. So my artwork is inspired by my personal experiences as a woman and also my family. A lot of my work has to do with um, the relationships I have with uh, women who are close to me. And artists that inspire me, like Janet Fish and Sarah Sedwick, both female artists that deal a lot with still lifes. I have an affinity for still lifes and fruit in particular. And I, I'm not sure where that stems from, but I've just always had a love for painting fruit and inanimate objects. And I am also inspired a lot by Dutch still life artists with Vanitas paintings and other things like that. So I think that my work, especially my new work, um, can be really inspiring to fellow artists because of the scale. Uh, with my newest work, I really trusted myself to work on a larger scale and work with um, nicer materials. I think a lot of times as artists we kind of doubt our own potential and we don't trust ourselves to go for what we really want to do. Um, so my hope is that my work is inspiring to other artists to really pursue what they're passionate about because it will always give you the best results. And also I think that my art is inspiring to non-artists because um, a lot of my stuff is very like everyday stuff that you might overlook and I think it would encourage um, non-artists to see beauty in everyday things like fruit. It feels great to have an exhibit at Lovejoy Library. I've been a student worker here for the last two years and I am a little bit biased but it's the best job that I've ever had and I was really excited um, when I was given this opportunity and it's just been great to see everyone's reactions to it and to see how happy it makes people to see my art displayed in the library. So this is my full body self-portrait. It's oil on canvas. Most of my paintings are oil on canvas. And I completed this project during my figure painting class here at SAUE. And this uh, self-portrait really means a lot to me because I had never done a full body self-portrait. And it was a little bit scary at first because it's kind of intimidating to try and recreate an image of yourself. But I feel like I was given a lot of freedom with this project to really try and understand my body and also place it within a beautiful setting like hydrangeas. So this is my Birth of Venus master copy. This was a project that I did in a painting methods course here, and we got to choose any classical artwork to recreate, and I have always loved the painting The Birth of Venus by Botticelli, so I decided to take Venus out of the clamshell and place her within a bathroom like she's looking at herself in a mirror. I think it's interesting because it's a much more like modernized take of it, it's what I see every day whenever I look in the mirror, you know, I think it's a really common experience. So in a way, it's kind of a self-portrait, but it was also just a way for me to recreate a painting that I love. This is my John Ebersberger master copy. This was another project for painting methods. 
and this was our first project for the class and the goal was to help us understand the Impressionist style. Uh, John Ebersberger is a contemporary Impressionist painter and I loved this project because Impressionism is one of my favorite styles of painting and it was really fun because we got to understand his brushwork and his color mixing style which is really important for capturing such beautiful colors. So this is my painting, Two Barns Down the Hill, and I completed this during a plein air painting class last summer. It was the very first day of the class, and it was really fun because I had never painted plein air before, and basically plein air is just whenever you paint on location, um, so it helps you capture the landscape a lot more. I was really happy with how this one turned out, especially because it was the first day of the class, and I've always found so much beauty in landscapes, so it was fun for me to try out this new experience and have a painting that I love so much from it. So this is another plein air painting from my class last summer, and it's titled Windbreak. It is also oil on canvas, and this painting means a lot to me because it's my favorite painting from the whole class. It was completed on a really rainy and gross day. When you're painting outside, it's definitely not the best conditions, but I kind of did this painting in like half an hour, super quick, just kind of trusting my instincts, and it ended up being my favorite painting. Um, so I always get a lot of joy looking at it um, because I feel like I really trusted myself as an artist. So this is my Cubist self-portrait, and it can be found here in the case. I completed this in painting methods, and it is also an oil on canvas. This project was designed so that we would emulate the Cubist style which I'm not a huge fan of myself. Cubism isn't really my, my favorite style, but I kind of took my own spin on it, and I actually had a lot of fun with this project. Blue is my favorite color, and I just used a bunch of different shades of blue and also a complementary orange to highlight the brightness of the blue. So this is my Caroline Walker master copy. For this project, we had to choose a painting from the artist Caroline Walker. A lot of her work has to do with single um, painted portraits of women, and I was inspired by her painting, Hoovering First Thing December. Um, it reminded me of my grandmother who passed away in September of 2021. And so to change the painting, I uh, changed the figure uh, of the woman to look more like my grandmother. And I placed myself sitting on a stool in the room with her. Whenever I was little, I would spend a lot of time with her while she was cleaning or doing other housework. And those are some really special memories for me. So. I was really excited to be able to take um, a beautiful painting by Walker and transform it into kind of a pseudo memory of my own. So this is my painting, Apples in Baking Bowl. It's also oil on canvas. And this was one of the first still lives that I completed in my intro to painting class here at SAUE. And it's where I really learned that I have a love for fruit and painting fruit. Um, I just had so much fun painting the apples and they're definitely my favorite part of the painting. I, uh, the project was just to complete a painting with food in it, and I kind of turned it to have symbolism and uh, connections to my family. So I bake a lot with my mom and my grandmas. Um, it's something that's always been really special to me. And this bowl is actually um, the bowl that my mom and I always make brownies in. It's the brownie bowl. And so I kind of assembled the still life to have um, those special connections to my family. So this is my painting, Monet and Oranges. This was also completed in my intro to painting class. And the task for this project was to create a still life, but to place another painting within it. And I chose one of his Haystacks paintings because Monet is my favorite artist. He's an impressionist. So I recreated his painting and placed it within my own still life. And of course I had to include fruit. So I included oranges in this and this just confirmed my love for fruit. And I knew in this moment that I wanted to continue doing fruit paintings. So next we're gonna be discussing my current work, which is my series Self-Portrait and Fruit. These are all large scale oil on canvas paintings. And currently it's a series of four, but I have two other paintings that I'm working on at the moment. And this series is a chronological expression of my experiences as a woman through the representation of fruit. So in each painting, I am uh, personifying the fruit to express the feelings and emotions that I dealt with during that time in my life. So to start the series, we have Weightless Ignorance of Youth, and this is representative of my time as a child um, before I kind of had to deal with any of the misogyny and other things that women have to deal with in day-to-day -day life. And I chose to represent it with apples because I feel like they're kind of the most basic fruit. And so I felt like that was the best fruit to represent that time. 
And next we have I Want to Grow Up. And this is significant of also like my youth, but uh, kind of going into puberty and all of the issues that women deal with during that time. And it can be kind of awkward whenever you're growing up and going through things like menstruation. So I personified the strawberry in the center and it's supposed to feel um, kind of lonely and not like the other strawberries around it. So that is um, the meaning of this painting. So this one is titled, Look How Appealing I Can Make Myself, and it's also oil on canvas. And this one is about how um, typically women are socialized uh, to believe that they need to market themselves so that they're desirable. So um, in this painting, the mango is kind of marketing or advertising itself to the viewer um, and kind of begging to be desired. This one is titled Hummingbird. It's a relief woodcut print. So each of the colors of the print um, are run through the press individually and you carve away more of the wood to get each color. And this was um, completed in an in intro to printmaking class and I uh, started this project right after my grandmother passed away and it's kind of a dedication to her because um, she always used to call me her hummingbird. So this was a really um, fun and also rewarding project for me to complete uh, that kind of helped me process my grief from that.